After years of asking Tom Brady to put their family first, Giselle Bündchen has finally filed for divorce. They looked like the dream couple, a Victoria's Secret supermodel and the greatest NFL quarterback of all time. But under the surface, Giselle was dealing with so much. Tom getting another woman pregnant, publicly humiliating Giselle, leaving her to raise their kids alone. At one point, Giselle even considered taking her own life. If, if, I, if I jump, like it would all be over. When she gave Tom an ultimatum, it seemed like there was hope for their marriage. But after only 40 days, he blew it all up. What did Tom do to finally push Giselle over the edge? He did tell me that he was going to play only for 10 years. And when I met him, he said, listen, I'm just going to play for 10 more years and I'm going to win one Super Bowl and I'm going to be happy. Now you want two Super Bowls, it's the end of the 10th year. And I was like, you let's go. I'm ready. But then he's like, no. Still got a few more to go. Yeah, he said that. My life focused around football. It always has been and always will be as long as I'm playing. From the very beginning of their relationship, Giselle has taken on a lot for Tom, and it goes beyond football. So you're madly in love with Tom, and then you find out that his former girlfriend is pregnant. I found out the same day the press found out. Here I am thinking I'm dating this guy, everything is great, and then this happened. I didn't know what to do. Do I just run away? <laughs> when you're in a situation like this, when your heart is involved and you're in love with someone, it was a very challenging time for all of us. Giselle stood by Tom and welcomed his son as if he was her own. And when Giselle gave birth, she gave up her supermodel career to stay at home and support their family. When I became a mother, it really became my priority. I just wanted to be with my kids. I, I, I couldn't f see anything more important. Football was my first love. And I think it's like his main love, really, quite frankly. <laughs> She's the one that, you know, supports the family, makes a lot of the sacrifices. But Tom wouldn't put his family first the way Giselle was. I'm not putting energy or focus on things that I don't deem that are important. Even though other people may say, man, this is really important. I'm gonna determine what's important for me. Yeah. I got so the hard part, I think, for me still playing is that my kids are getting older and I'm not available to them. Yeah! Things still kind of revolve around my schedule, my day. He puts a lot in that and then everything else can fall um, out of balance because of it. For six, seven months out of the year, I really take on 100%. You know, I take the kids to school, you know, so that I become a lot more present. It takes up a lot of my time, but there'll come a time when that ends. She, when do you think that will end? <laughs> Tom wasn't holding up his end of the marriage, even as Giselle told him what she needed. His wife wrote him a letter explaining how she was upset with where the relationship was. She didn't feel like I was doing my part for the family. And she's sitting there going, I have goals and dreams too. Do you want him to retire? Uh, I want him to do whatever makes him happy. When I am done playing. I really do want to be able to support her and what her dreams are, to be more flexible with schedule and time and commitment. And when Tom announced his retirement from football, it seemed like he was finally ready to put his family first. My kids and my family is certainly very important. They made a lot of sacrifice. I owe it to them too. But just 40 days later, he changed his mind. Brady says he's coming back. He has, quote, un finish business. He was doing a bunch of family things. I think the thought came to Tom, I do not want to be sitting there in September watching football on TV and saying, I can still do this as well as any of these guys. But we also saw Giselle whisper into your ear, yeah. what more do you have to prove? Yeah. So Tom, what more do you have to prove? I still want to play. I could sit here and go, well, stop playing football, so worry about what's going to happen. Instead of saying, why don't I live my life in the ways that are going to be most fulfilling to me, which for me is doing what I love to do. It doesn't mean I should just stop playing because that's what everyone's telling me to do. She had been so patient, but Giselle wouldn't wait forever. She had changed her own life in a huge way once before when she overcame an overwhelming panic disorder. I'm a person who always likes to kind of have things under control. In your 20s, you had panic attacks. My world just kept getting smaller and smaller. I was trapped and I, and I couldn't breathe. And at one point, you went out on the balcony. What was going through your well, mind? Well, because I lived in the ninth floor, it crossed my mind. If I, if I jumped, like, it would all be over. That was definitely rock bottom for me. I was completely powerless. I didn't want to live that way. And if Giselle could do it once, she could do it again. I know when you're in the middle of 
the storm, sometimes you don't see there is a light in the end of the tunnel. I have to make some changes in my life because no one can come and save me from this. After 15 years of waiting for Tom to put her and their family first, Giselle finally did it for herself. She told Elle magazine, I've done my part, which is to be there for Tom. I moved to Boston and I focused on creating a loving environment for my children to grow up in and to be there supporting him and his dreams. Now it's going to be my turn. The only thing that limits us is time. What do we want to do with this time? We have to ask ourselves those questions. What are the priorities? I'm creating space so I can be a mom for my kids and figure out what is really my passion. The quality of your life depends on the quality of your relationships. Nothing else matters. Then if you feel loved and supported, that's what else, what else is more important than that?